I think our guys have just, in general, taken a step in the right direction in the last week. I think the urgency and the energy has been up, and, and when you have that, when you're out here having fun, a lot of times good things can happen with that. There's still going to be a lot to clean up. Um, you know, we didn't game plan these guys just like they didn't game plan us, but they give us so many different looks that we don't get versus, obviously, our defense, and so it's just so valuable to bank those reps, and I thought the stuff that we didn't get that we cleaned up, they did a good job with our players. Just so you're aware, a Rams spokesman told us about Matthew just precautionary with, yep. the, with the tightness there, yep. so you're aware of that. Yep. But getting Jimmy in with the ones and then Stetson with the backups, uh, what did you see out of them during those yeah, I thought they I thought they operated well. You know, I mean, nine operates at, at a world-class level. I mean, it's it's poetry when he's in the huddle and what he can do at the line and what he sees and, and how calm he is. But uh, And we know that. And every rep's going to be valuable for him no matter how many plays he's had. But... You know, unfortunately, unfortunately, he had some tightness, and it gives those other guys an opportunity, Jimmy, to get in there with the ones, which obviously he doesn't get very often, and then and then Stetson as well, and really for Stetson just to build off of, um, you know, what he did in the game. Um, you know, he did some good things in the game. Obviously, we got to limit the turnovers, no doubt, but there was a lot of positives from it too, and to be able to get out here and correct some of those was great. What have you seen from Warren McClendon specifically when once he moved over to the left side? Yeah, I mean, the left side is, uh, I mean, that's that's still early, right? So, I mean, we're we're still way early into this. I think really just two practices, um, but he, he, whether right side or left side, he's just getting better and. Um, I would say, like a lot of these guys, he doesn't feel 100% with his body right now. You know, it's those nicks and, and, and bruises from, from training camp, but uh, he's battled every single day and he's continuing to get better, and, that, and that's going to be big for us. In a practice where you don't practice, or where you don't tackle, rather, Kyron, it, it seems like he thinks he scores on every play. Uh, what are you liking about him? Yeah, I like, I like all our guys with the ball in their hands. They, they all feel like that no one's going to tackle them, you know, and, and what we keep preaching to them, which we don't have to because it's how they're made is. You know, we haven't played tackle football yet, particularly with our starters. And uh, so it's a, it's a whole different game when it comes to Sunday for our guys. Because of Jimmy's situation, not being able to play the first two games, how important as a kind of a side benefit is him being able to work with the ones in a situation like that? Yeah, no, it's, again, just anyone, any position, quarterback to our receivers, to all to our line. You know, a lot of guys on the line, uh, we weren't anticipating to be with our ones that are, are with our ones right now. So anytime you get those those ops, particularly against a defense like this with all the players that they got, is going to be valuable. So I know, again, there's going to be a lot of things to clean up from, from everyone across the board, but I like the way he stepped in there and operated. What did you think of the way um, Jordan played in that first preseason year? Yeah, like a man, you know. Again, it was it was tackle football. Uh, Jordan Winton is a, a guy that, from from high school, being a Wildcat quarterback, having just a million yards in, in a state championship game, to what he did in college with a really loaded roster, uh, and then to what we've seen since he's been here. You know, we knew, uh, we we felt pretty pretty confident that uh, when when the pads got on and it was real football, he was going to even be a bigger problem. And I think that showed. And he's got a long way to go. Uh, he's a he's a kid that's really confident, and, and the teammates are. are Pretty confident in him as well. A couple more guys. When a young guy like that shows ostensibly that he can play at this level, do you pull back as the preseason goes on with him if he's a guy that is going to be part of that receiver? You're speaking of Whittington? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's still conversations we're going to have because again, as is, is valuable as the preseason is in those games when it's real and coaches are off the field. Um, you know, these practices are equally as important to us, you know, because we're trying some things more. There's more movement and stuff like that. Uh, that's, you know, uh, more like our offense, obviously. So, well, all those discussions will always be fluid. It can change day to day. It can change based on who's available, who's not available. So, um, you know, we'll, uh, we'll keep it going from there. What's, uh, did you get a chance to say hello to Aaron? What's it like having him out here just for the, the kind of the spirit of training camp? Yeah, he just puts a smile on your face, right? You kind of hoping that, like, you know, like the Stone Cold Steve Austin music would hit, and he'd come out with his jersey, <laughs> and he said, "I'm back," you know. But uh, no, it's you're just happy to see him. I know the the, the guys, all of them, not just the D line, are, and uh, you know, you say, "How you doing?" And he says, "I'm healthy." You, you, you just can't put, you know, it just puts such a smile on your face. That's what you do it for. What was it like for you seeing AD walking out here? It's great to see him. Um, and the cool thing was seeing him kind of give some tips to Fisk. I'm just kind of standing there listening. Um, so it was really good to see him. Great to have him out here. Any part of you that wanted to walk up to him and say, are you sure? Of course. You know, <laughs> think about that every day. And he's all over our cut ups, so we see him all the time. Uh, you know, but I know he's in a great spot and uh, such a great career. And he's earned the right to uh, do whatever he wants right now. So he's welcome back anytime. Any time he wants to come coach and help out, he knows the door is always open. What did you see from your unit today that you liked? I liked it. it felt like we were competitive, um, you know, 
it was good bouncing back after last week and uh, you know, um, I thought the guys, this is kind of the dog days of camp, so the guys that come out and have some energy and keep competing, and there was a lot of plays today, so obviously they're gonna get a few things, but it seemed like they bounced back and uh, communicated well, played hard. Sean said yesterday you guys got some, some good news back on Ernest. I saw him, obviously I was on this field most of the day, but I saw him come out to practice, and um, his energy, his presence uh, for you as, the, as a play caller, what's it like working with him? Yeah, you're exactly right. Um, you really feel there's th things you can't just measure. You just feel his, his energy, his leadership, uh, he gets guys running the ball. I feel like um, I can kind of give him a message through the helmet that he can kind of get to the whole defense and everyone. When he talks, everybody listens. And uh, there's some things you can't replicate, so it was great to back, have him back out there. Seems like uh, Jared and Byron kind of have a pretty spirited group there yeah. on the edge now. Have you seen, that seems, that energy level seems to have come up. Yeah, and that's, you know, one of the things we knew when we drafted Jared, uh, you know, we'd heard the reports about him and uh, it's exactly what we wanted. So, uh, you know, he's brought a great energy to that group and uh, Byron's kind of coming out of his shell, you know, from last year, having some success. And uh, obviously Mike Coy brings great leadership and, uh, you know, Hampton's like the silent assassin of the group. So uh, it's, a, it's a special group that's just growing day to day and uh, it's been fun to watch. Tyler Davis' performance on Sunday and just what you've seen from him in practice overall, just what do you make of it and, and what's he shown you? Yeah, he's been a consistent guy. Um, Really throughout OTAs, throughout practice, he's a guy that kind of shows up every day. He's not going to say a whole lot, but uh, you know, from his you know from his tape at Clemson, starting from his freshman year on, uh, you know, you see the um, when he when he steps up and it's when it's 11 on 11 football, he finds a way to to make plays and uh, and you know he's been had a really good camp so far. Um, Talked to Jay Hum a little bit after the preseason game, and one thing he kept saying, part, especially in reference to how you guys came out and back out for the sudden change stuff, was that he felt the unit played clean. Everyone played really clean. Uh, what did you see from the group? Is that accurate? And, and especially in that chaos of a sudden change situation and, and you trying to orchestrate the group? Yeah, it was. I, I would say that's definitely accurate. Um, you know, that's what we want to do. We want to execute. You know, we talk about executing, playing 11 as one, everybody being on the same page. It definitely wasn't perfect, uh, but it was great effort. We tackled really well and, uh, you know, we were connected on the back end. You didn't see a bunch of guys running free and stuff. And uh, so when you do that and you make the offense work for it, um, hopefully you don't let them in the end zone. What, what went into bringing Carlos Watkins in? No, I just think some of the just depth at the position, some of the injuries. You know, he's a veteran guy that's been around, so uh, excited to have him. Did, uh, again, was Couple on the more. offensive field today, so just checking. Did everyone come through okay? I, I you know, we heard think some so. whistles a lot. But yeah, verse went down, scared us a little bit, but uh, yeah, I think he's good. He's okay? Yeah, he's okay. good. Can you give us any insight to Deswan Johnson, what's happening with him or what uh, happened? Um, I'll just let I'll let Sean handle all the injury all the injury stuff. Okay. Does w would it be fair to say that figured in the decision to sign Watkins or? Um, not I'm not sure. You know, I definitely think the merch, the merch injury was kind of I would say the main thing. Okay. Awesome. Thank you guys.